Hey there. All right, guys. So welcome back to another episode of Smith in the Outdoors. I hope you guys like that funny intro. I don't really know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just trying to have some fun here. Today we have February LTV. Let's get straight into it. We got flow again, boys. All right, guys, opening this box, I saw a few new things. This, the tackle guide, so they made, they you know how they used to have a little thing, card says what's inside of it. Now they have a little pamphlet about everything that deals with this. It deals with the lures inside, which, honestly, is a lot better than just having that little thing on there. But I hope it still shows the prices on it, though. Well, that's a size point. Then we got a Baitmate sticker instead of the American flag regular ones. It's Baitmate. Baitmate has worked with Tackle, Lucky Tackle Box for a long time, and they're all always doing good stuff for them. So I think it's, I think it's awesome how they're representing Baitmate more because it does catch a lot more fish. All right, first thing in the box is this backstabber crankbait here. If you guys can't see it already, I will show you later why this is so unique. But you kind of can. So, I'll get into that later. Super excited. Next, we have something for Kevin Van Dam, arguably one of the best fishermen in the world. I already said this before, but we have the Strike King Half Shell. Right there, nice little finesse worm. It says he fished this on the bottom. I'll show you more about this book, because what it, what it's doing now is... I just looked into it. it. It's crazy. Pretty much, it's like watching one of their videos, just you reading it on a book. Next, we have the Dubin's D-Blade Advantage. I would say it's a medium-sized spinner bait. I've, I have some really large ones and really small ones. This is just in the middle of it. You can see it's a double-bladed spinner bait. So it's definitely more action. It represents like a school of fish in the water. It's pretty good for summer or springtime, I mean. And that's what's coming right around the corner. Super excited for that. Going to have a lot of videos about getting getting fish on beds. And you could just run this right over a bed, probably, and it would work. You just put a nice little shad on it and slow it down right where the bed is, drop it down. It would probably work then, but I'll get more into that later. Next, we have something for X-Zone Lures. It's Muscleback Craws, which you can't really see the colors into them now, but looking into these, they have little webs. They have little webs on their on their, their paddles. I wouldn't call them paddles, the craws, the claws on them that just put off more water. The way that these are designed... It's designed to put off a lot of water, not too much water, just enough though, so in the springtime that bass will notice them and try getting a little snack from them. Next, next we have the Daiichi hooks. It's either Daiichi or Mustad, both fantastic brands to use for hooks. I would recommend both of them. So say you get, say you get a little, a little crankbait like that, and the hooks aren't good on it. I would switch them up for treble hooks from Daiichi or Mustad, definitely. Alright, so like I was saying about this backstabber crankbait, it's pretty unique because it has treble hook on the top of it and on the side, none on the bottom right there. It's pretty much what that's designed for is you get a better hookup ratio because you're getting in the back and on the front and sometimes it's tough to get that, that one up top, one down there. I usually don't see a lot unless I absolutely crank the, so I absolutely eat the crankbait, but what that's also designed for is when you're bringing it down and there's seaweed it's just starting to come up for spring. You're not always catching your treble hooks on it because usually this one's back there. And this one will be on top floating and you won't get anything under it. So pretty much it kind of goes a little more weedless under it when you just crank it under it. And you won't get as much weed. So that's an awesome design. And it's like a nice little shad color right there. So that's that'll be good for springtime and I'll definitely use that. Next we have the Strike King Half Shell. As you can see there, it's just a little finesse bait. You got that top hook right there to push off water, and you got all these little indents in there to push off water also. So pretty much it, you just put this, you put a little hook on it. I wouldn't put anything too big on it. Maybe that size of a hook, and then you just swim it around. It says this, you swim on the bottom here, which that's what I would do, get on the bottom going. And it says for the location, humps, ledges, open water, points, and rocks. Just to get it in there, getting past the bass, you know. It's actually really salty, and I just push, move my hair, and it's not good. But good lure for f fall, spring, and even winter time. Finesse goes slow, and bass will get it. All right, next up is the D-Bonds D-Blade Advantage. Pretty much, it's just a medium-size, half-ounce spinnerbait here. 
And you see it's got the chartreuse white car color on it. So it's represent a shad. And it's got that top on there. Top, a little red on there. Which that represents either it can represent blood or it can represent the fish's gills. So pretty much if you see the gills of a fish for a bass, it'll be the predators. So if they if they see the gills on it, that means no that means they're looking away and they can easily snatch it up. So then then that's what they like. They go for their advantages on fish. They just hide. So if they'll see that, they'll definitely take that out. So that's that's a cool part about this bait, but so you can see it's got gold and silver blades on it, which is awesome. And it'll attract a lot of fish. Next here we have the muscleback X Zone Lures. It's the muscleback craw. So as I was talking about earlier, you can see those little things on the I don't know if you can see that too well, but there's little there's little indents on this on the, the claws there. Pretty much that what it does, it just pull puts off water and makes a better sounding vibration. That's what these little these little legs are there for to do also. So this is a well designed one, I would I would say, and and it says the fish this on the bottom, but most soft plastics you fish on the bottom. And last we have the Daiichi hooks here. I'm not gonna get them out because we get them every time, but as you all know, they're just for soft plastics. I wouldn't throw them on that. I throw them on something bigger because it give it takes away a lot of the if you put them on these X zones, it would take away a lot of the movement and action of it, so I wouldn't do that. I'd put it on Senko, big Senko, or big shad, big soft plastic shad, or something like that. But as always, these are great hooks. I would I always use them. I don't use any other hooks really. Them and mustad are my go to. Alright, so as I was saying about this tackle guide, this pretty much right here is what their videos are saying. So if you have never seen an LTB video, go on YouTube, look up LTB.com. I'll just look up LTB, it'll be on there. Or Lucky Tackle Box, you can look up. And it'll be on there, and they'll pretty much make videos of how to throw all of the baits that they give. And they even give more baits, because this is just a regular one. But I'm going to get the Trigon XL soon. So, I know a lot of people have been telling me to get more action in the videos, so that's what this book was there for in the beginning, because I feel like action means calling coyotes, and I have a Fox Pro, but I feel like it would be fun to call them out with a hand call. I have a hand call, it's dying, it's a small, it's supposed to be dying, dying contact, that's what I have around here, but it is mating season, and I feel like if you put a, a coyote and, and heat sound out usually they're gonna go right to it because it's just like deer in the rut they're they're not the, that smart they just go to it but so there's definitely gonna be some coyote hunting videos out probably some more rabbit hunting videos and ice fishing videos so this was just to get back into it because my internet wasn't working for some reason but now it's working and we won't have any more problems with it so that's good for the channel this may be a long video here, but I just love talking about fish and stuff. But I can talk your ears off about this. But thank you guys so much for watching this video, Smithing the Outdoors, and stay tuned for more.